Hey what's going on guys, I'm back again with another video on free hosting. So guys in this video we are going to introduce you a new free web hosting which is Googie Host provided by InterServer. So you can buy their premium hosting with 90% off for first 3 months. In other words, you just need to spend $1 for 3 months, no extra hidden conditions. If we take a look at the comparison table with other free web hostings, we can see that this provides uh, one gigabyte SSD uh, without any file limitations. And we can also observe that uh, it provides some feature that outstands this hosting from others. They also provide support to their free members. We will also check their features provided by this hosting in File Explorer. Now let's move towards the steps to register your account. If you have a premium domain and you want to host it on free web hosting, you can input here. In our case, we are going to use free subdomain provided by Host. While typing your subdomain name, please make sure that you are not going to use any brand name like YouTube. In my case, I have entered YouTube and it's already taken because in my previous application, I have submitted with this domain. Now I will enter something else. Let's suppose we are going to enter something and let's check. Wow, it works. Now right here we can select uh, free speed security optimization because this is uh, free. Uh, we can select that. Also we need to provide the reason that why we are up going to apply for this uh, free web hosting. Maybe you can type that I am going to host my portfolio over here. Or you can give uh, some other reason as well. Press continue. And uh, here you can see that um, I have uh, this uh, subdomain and uh, my pricings are zero. And let's go to the checkout. Here you need to enter your details. And in the payment section, you can select PayPal. And they're not going to take your information as far as your pricing is zero. So in our case, our total price is zero. So we are going to continue with our PayPal checkbox and let's go. And after that, we will be redirected here. Our services are zero. From the services menu, we can go to my services. And here we can see our applied domains. And the status is pending because the application is still in process. You have to wait for a few days maybe. I think they take uh, around uh, 72 hours. After a few days I was able to see that my services are updated to 1. And also my domain is approved. So they didn't approve my youtube.that's.im because uh, this is a brand name. So they got approved my other domain that is uh, something dot that's dot am. So now we are going to install SSL over this domain. Click manage product and search for SSL certificates. So in your case you can click generate self signed certificates and provide your information. And then you can click let's encrypt. And from here you can select your wild cards, you know, you just need to check that. And from the entries menu, you, you can select these things and click encrypt. After that, your application will be, uh, will be submitted. Uh, I have already done that and I just uh, got accepted. So in your case, if you are not being accepted, you just can open a ticket. Or if you have any problem, you can also comment below. And now it's time to install WordPress. Just click applications and right here we can see that we don't have any installation just click install now and expand blocks just go to the bottom and select the latest version of WordPress and in the above we need to provide our website details 
we can provide our database name and from the login details we need to copy our credentials we are going to save our credentials in the notepad file just click install our wordpress installation has been completed successfully we can verify it from installed applications just wait and refresh here we go we have successfully installed our wordpress over this domain so now it's time to check our wordpress application also we can observe that our ssl is working and our application is visible here and we can also access admin panel using wp dash admin and we can use our credentials here that we copied into our notepad file just click login so here we can see our dashboard from here we can install plugin and we can change our theme now it's time to go to file manager and check the features provided by this hosting we are in file directory of this domain you can come to the screen by clicking file manager from the main screen you can easily come to this directory by navigating to this path now let's check file management features provided by this hosting just click three dots just in the right of create directory and here we can see that we can upload files you can just click upload and from here you can select your file and also I have uploaded as, uh, uploaded a zip file here and uh, we can uh, delete it we can set permissions if we click the three dots we can rename it we can copy and we can delete this file so there is no option to unzip this file or extract this file if you want to know how to unzip this file you can watch my another video I will attach the link in the first comment the question is why we need to upload zip files so I will answer that like uh, it's not easy to upload uh, uh, many files using uh, FileZilla or any FTP client because it take much time um, so it is better to uh, compress all of your files into one file and then upload using this uh, file browser and then you can extract using my another video if you want to know how to upload a custom project including the database configuration I will make another video on that also I will make a video how to host a Laravel app over this hosting if you have any question or problems regarding this video or this hosting you can comment below I will try to cover them in my next video thank you guys for your love and support if you have further queries please comment below and hit the like button if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update bye bye